Hi, Kevin. Uh, I'm Dr. Chris Rogers. I'm in the Augustino lab, provisionally lab manager and co-PI for some of the projects here. Uh, today we're just going to walk through real quickly and look at what we call our wet lab. We work with various samples from rats, mice, tissue culture. We actually have some human samples that we work with. And a lot of the biochemistry that we do, we do here in the wet lab. We have some instruments. Um, some of our more sophisticated instruments are actually down the hall. We have electron microscopes that we have access to and other very expensive uh, devices and machines and equipment. <coughs> This here is a simple plate reader. This is a little lab setup. We can do different biochemical uh, reactions here, looking at different compounds or important biomarkers and various animal tissue, including serum, liver, brain, muscle, fat. These are some of the important things that we look at. Some of the work that we just do here is processing tissue, putting it into slides, fixing the slides. We're getting the slides ready so that we can look at them with different very specific antibodies that are coupled with either colored agents or fluorescent reacting compounds that allows us to identify different important molecules within the different tissues, understand what's happening when we do these uh, ketogenic diets or ketone esters, some of the various other compounds that we look at that gets the animal essentially into a ketogenic state. Here's our kitchen. Very fancy. This is where we mix a lot of the food. We have different compounds that we use here. We mix just like uh, the fancy chefs on TV, except much more tasty with the keto esters. And we're going to go around the corner here. Again, this is a wet lab. It's kind of a sloppy place. Oh, Elaine is in here today. She is a collaborator presently working from Switzerland uh, with the background in migraine research. Come on in and take a look. Do you mind, Elena? No, sure. Have a look. She's also uh, a graduate of Oxford. And right now, what are you doing, Elena? So in general, I can say that we are looking, we're using cellular, animal, and soon also human studies to examine the efficacy of ketone bodies, exogenous ketogenic substances, in the treatment or prevention of various neurological or metabolic diseases. And that can be done looking at cells, how do cells respond to exogenous ketones, what genes are changed, uh, what metabolic pathways do they influence, how do they affect m mice models, for example, of certain diseases, how are they responding to the treatment or not responding. And in the human studies, once we go through ethic approval and get all the approvals and the safety established, we can see actually in the patients how do they respond to exogenous ketones? How, how much do we have to elevate the ketone levels? And um, do they actually, can we treat diseases that are currently have a huge medical need? And um, yeah, we don't have anything to treat them with. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy the tour. All right. Uh, just basic parts of the wet lab. Again, we work with cells back here. This is our cell culture hood, refrigerators. We have different drugs, different compounds that we use in here. Um, currently we have a single gas connected to our cell incubators, but we have the capacity to use different gases because one of the other aspects of our research has to do with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So we're looking into modifying our system so that we can use various amounts of oxygen or CO2, nitrogen, argon, various types of gases at different pressures to see how this could enhance the effect of ketogenic diets.